What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing day and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a hyper os 2 port for our redmi note 9 pro devices so just like my color 15 video this rom also supports poco m2 pro redmi note 10 Lite, redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max redmi note 9 pro global and redmi note 9 s so basically all the snapdragon 720g devices which come under the code name miatol and the developer has actually left the porting scene so this is quite an older build but i just thought let's just share it because i've been using this rom for a couple days and it's been very stable and fast the developer has moved on with his life so don't expect any updates on this but this build specifically is very updated and polished so the developer has actually focused on this being very stable for daily use so if you just go to play store and stuff the device according to the developer does actually pass for a play protect but i can't seem to get it working so you will need a pif module if you want your banking apps to be working you can just remove the kernel issue and it will just work fine you have another spoofing like 90 fps in gaming again unlimited storage for google photos so a lot of quality of life additions even circle to search is here as you can see works just fine and as this is being a indonesian global rom it doesn't have a lot of fancy animations or a lot of crazy features but it is hyper os 2 and it is android 15 so the latest of the xiaomi software side and google's so if you just go through apps and stuff there are not a lot of ai features but the google integration has been completely made throughout the system so quick share works your normal play services features like focus mode song search do work fine and just look at the fluidity I have the 4 gig version of Redmi Note 9 Pro and you can just see even with the live blur the animations work just fine. Look at how smooth that is. Just going across, expanding quick settings, extremely fluid. Going through more stuff, normal bloatware, nothing much, you have normal security app and stuff which doesn't have a lot of features from Chinese ROMs but you do have Game Turbo which works just fine. You just go back to the home hopping on to the settings the animations are not the best but you do get a ios style recent apps panel which does actually work fine it doesn't lag at all and it's still not available in official hyper os 2.2 but you do have it working right over here which is fine so going to the about phone section hyper os version 2.0.1.0 so one of the first builds but you do have android 15 which is nice going back wi-fi bluetooth normal stuff nothing much if you just go to display there are a few features from the device that it has been ported from like sunlight anti-flickering ai image engine which don't work at all so don't bother going down some some vibration you have the better haptics which come with the z-axis motor for this device which is a nice thing scrolling down to personalization nothing much normal system wallpapers no dynamic wallpapers but if you install them they do work fine without a lot of lag but talking about personalization you have the whole lock screen suit if you just go to customize lock screen as you can see the rom is extremely fluid i've been using this for a couple days and the battery life has also been fine with the amount of animation this thing has so let's just apply this one just like that and if you know this is a very heavy ui and it's already applied wow that was quick so let's unlock the phone looks extremely nice hopping back to the settings app going down nothing much fingerprint face data just works fine and as this is a global rom you do have digital well-being and all the google suite and going back to the home the developer has also added a hyper os camera with a lot of experimental features which i don't recommend touching but you do have it if you are just bored with the gcam on ported roms you do get a lot of features right over here which i don't think will work like hlg or dolby vision which are obvious and that's basically it for the hyper os 2 based on android 15 for the redmi note 9 pro i hope you guys liked it if you found this helpful please drop a like and do subscribe for more redmi note 9 pro videos and if you want a complete installation video please let me know in the comment section below but it's not that tough you can just install the rom format your data and boot it the rom does actually support both fbv1 and v2 recoveries and yeah guys that's basically it see you guys in the next one